Hello, thank you for joining me. It's Wednesday the 1st of November and I have a card reading for you. Now, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to pick the first card and that's going to pretty much summarise how October was for us. What did we learn? What did we gain from navigating ourselves through October and that eclipse season? And then the second card is going to be a card that's going to give us a theme for November and see what's in store for us. It's always quite handy to look back on tarot as well. I know a lot of people use it as a future or, you know, looking at what's going to happen. But understanding yourself and how you got to places is just as important, I feel. And the tarot is a really good way of reflecting on what we've learned and what we've done. OK, so what have we learned and what have we done? Justice. Oh, that's a big card, isn't it? For a, a big month. October was a really, really big month. I love this lady is looking almost. Can you see it's the same lady? And I do feel I want to say about shadow work and really understanding ourself um, was quite a theme in October. Obviously, you've got the scales as well, which most of most of October was Libra season, wasn't it? So, um, you know, there's that to it as well, that kind of balance and understanding and intelligence that comes with that sign. But I also feel we've got the sword here and she's grasping that sword and drawing, cutting a line. And I feel like this is very much between the old you and the new you or the old way of life and the new way of life and she's looking down on this perhaps not so she doesn't look as at peace as this one does she but it's the same person so I feel like she's let go of all the stuff that was holding her back and wasn't really helping I'm loving this beautiful sky here these fluffy clouds and this lightness that has come from working through this kind of shadow work or whatever it has been that you've been working through in October. But I feel like now we've moved into November, we have very much got a very new energy coming through. And that new energy is perhaps working in line with your authentic self, because that's what justice asks us to do ask the question am I being authentic am I actually living my true purpose walking my true path being who re I really am and if the answer is no then you know that sword is there to cut away what parts of the uh, or what aspects of the life are not serving us not doing us any good so I feel like that's pretty much oh wow I love this I love it I love it I love it look at that shuffled and shuffled and shuffled and the cards have come out and they're in a line because we've got number 11, the justice card, and number 12, we've got the hanged man. And she too has got a beautiful, beautiful light shining around her head there. Um, she's not hanging from a tree. She's just like an acrobat hanging from a, a piece of cloth or silk or whatever it is that they do their acrobatics from. But I feel that this is a transitional time. And I feel that November is going to be a time when we calmly walk towards the light. Now, that sounds a bit, bit freaky, actually, as I've said that. But it's the idea of knowing who we are, and where we're going and being OK with it. And just allowing the universe to unfold in the way that it needs to unfold. I feel like with the justice card, we woke up to the fact that we were perhaps trying to control lots of aspects of our life that we can't control. That might be other people that might be desperately wanting things to play out in a certain way. And sometimes the universe has a, a funny way of showing us that that's not the best way to be. And the hanged man comes out when they are trying to teach us this lesson. One of the words, it's not one of my favourite words, patience comes out with the hanged man. So I do feel like here... There's the element of last month understanding our journey, this month going on it. But you may not feel like you've got as far as you wanted to. And I think that's the thing, isn't it? When we have these amazing epiphanies of where we want to go and what we want to do, we want it all to then happen immediately and it doesn't. And I think one thing that the hanged man teaches us is that idea of 
once we're in a right spot, a bit like a game of chess, all the other people and situations around us also need to be in the right place for the perfect moment to happen. So um, understanding that is, um, is a really key element to keeping true to yourself and just allowing the universe to place you constantly where you need to be i'm not saying take no responsibility for your life because that's that's not the point of it but understanding what's in your control and what's not in your control yeah so um you can control how you think you can control what you eat you can control when you exercise you know to a certain extent your day but there's lots of things going on around you people situations weather there's loads of things you, that are out of your control so it's that idea of knowing what you can do and what you can't do but i feel again this lady is just hanging there but she's hanging there deliberately so maybe this is you holding back maybe the way forward for you is not to be the one in charge letting other people get on with it you know let them run their own circus <laughs> and you deal with yours so yeah i you know there's lots of interesting ways you could look at this hanged man but one thing that people do do sometimes is, is get a bit fearful of it because they're aware that the next card in this sequence is number 13 we haven't got it here today but there's the death card we're in scorpio season aren't we so we do sort of usually see the death card pop up at some stage but um it's the idea of just calmly waiting for your transformation not desperately trying to make it happen and i feel that hangman's going to teach us a little bit about that over november so come back again tomorrow maybe that death card will pop up who knows um i'm here every day for a reading so please do like and subscribe and um share this message to anyone that you think might might find it helpful okay have a lovely day bye for now